Welcome to the how-to video for importing a rescue file into CMG's builder. A rescue file is a very common format used for importing the reservoir grid, reservoir and grid properties, and also well trajectory information into builder. This file can be generated with software such as Petrel, GoCAD, or really any other commercial geological software. And it's very easy to actually export into this format and CMG is able to handle the import of this format without any issues. So right now, I have an empty builder file open which does not have anything defined. And as you can see here, I'm creating this file for the IMEX simulator. However, it doesn't matter what simulator you're using because the import process is exactly the same in all of them. So in order to start the import process, just navigate to File, Import from another file, Rescue slash Rescue Mel Model. So this will bring up a screen asking you to select the rescue model. And usually, the rescue file will have the extension of .bin. So I'm going to select this file here and then click Open. So this window might or might not appear depending on how the grid was created in the geological software. All this window is saying is that in CMG, the K direction is positive downwards, and this is not the case in the rescue file being imported. So Builder will automatically reorder the K layers to the correct CMG format. The main thing here is that this will have absolutely no effect on your results, but this is more of just a visualization thing. If the K direction is positive downwards in the geological software as well, then this window won't appear and you can just skip to the next step. So this window that comes up gives you the name of the file and tells you the version of rescue this file was created in. This information isn't very important to us, so we can just click OK to this message. So this will bring up a window for grid creation options. We can just leave the import global grid option selected as it is. And the next option, which is the inactive cells option, lets you choose what you constitute to be garbage or inactive cells. Sometimes when a grid is exported from a geological software, it exports a few coordinates that are very far away from the rest of the grid. So the option No Action allows these points to be imported as active cells and Builder will connect these points to the rest of the grid. This typically causes the grid to look distorted because all the points in the grid will converge on a single point very far away from the actual reservoir. And this makes it very hard to visualize the grid properly. For this reason, we typically select the last option, hide if outside bounding box of active plus buffer zone. And this option will limit the area around the grid that is considered in the import process and will null out any blocks or points that are outside of this area. So this is usually the best option to select when importing the grid from a rescue file. So I'll leave this option selected as it is and then click OK. This next window is the last step in the import process and it allows you to match the properties in the rescue file to the corresponding CMG properties. So on the left side here are all the rescue file properties and on the right side are all the CMG properties. So the user has to link up the rescue property to the CMG property. So when this is done, the property array from the rescue property side will be transferred to the corresponding CMG property. For example, for the property null blocks, I'll find the CMG property named null blocks by scrolling down and selecting null blocks. So I'll click on the null blocks on the rescue property side and null blocks on the CMG property side and then click add to selected list. So by doing this, I've transferred the null blocks array from my rescue file into the null block CMG property. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for the rest of the properties as well. So I'll select pinch out array on the left side. I'll find the pinch out array property in CMG and click add to selected list. I'll do the same for permeability I. 
and then lastly for porosity. So now the arrays are all transferred from the rescue file into the CMG properties. One thing to note is that it does not matter what the rescue property is named. For example, porosity could be named pore, permeability could be named K. The only thing that matters is the rescue property is transferred to the correct corresponding CMG property. Also, it is possible that you may be importing a property that doesn't have a corresponding CMG property. One example would be rock facies. So there's no CMG property for rock facies. In this case, what you can do is create a custom property to transfer the array into. So to do this, you can scroll all the way to the top and select Add New Custom Property. And I can name this property whatever I'd like, so I'll name it Rock Facies, for example. And then when I click OK, a new custom property is generated. Then you can transfer the Rock Facies property in the rescue file to this custom property that you had created. And then once the property is imported inside Builder, you can use it to apply different relative permeability curves to the different rock facies. However, in this case, I don't have any such custom properties. So I'll just click OK to finish the import process. So now the reservoir grid and the reservoir properties have been imported into Builder. If I wanted to see what this model looked like in the 3D view, I can click on this drop down here and select 3D view. So now you can compare this grid with what you have in the geological software to make sure everything lines up and the grid has been properly imported. Similarly for the properties, I can click on this drop down here and any property with the dot beside it has been defined. So if I select permeability I, I can now see the permeability distribution in my reservoir. And again, you can compare this to what you have in the geological software to make sure that the properties have been imported correctly. So that's how you import a rescue file into CMG's builder. Thank you for watching.